Alright, let's begin. So today, I am going to do a walkthrough of our world with commentary so that I can describe the various parts of uh, every uh, compound, every settlement, every city we've got. Um, I'll try to keep the videos brief so as not to overload the viewer. Um, so we begin outside of the very first settlement I built called Stonewall Village. Creatively enough, for the stone wall that surrounds it, uh, there are actually two stone walls. There is one uh, that surrounds the Ivory Palace inside, and one that surrounds the village itself on the outside. Um, let's go in and take a look. Alright, so here we have the Ivory Palace. It's built out of sandstone that was farmed to the east. Um, it's actually built out of sandstone slabs because of the way the game's mechanics work. Um, sandstone slabs have a much greater blast resistance than just sandstone itself, so that if a, if a creeper goes off in the uh, courtyard, it's not going to level the entire palace. Um, the wall has uh, a number of gatehouses, one on every side, and towers at every corner. Uh, these can be used to ascend to the top. Um, I have... For the moment, I have disabled monsters so that, you know, they don't get in the way. Um, but the walls are pretty well lit, uh, so that monsters don't spawn here. Um, the the gatehouses and the towers as well. Uh, although, I have had a few zombies come up and attack me inside uh, these doors. Uh, let me go in the eastern entrance. That's actually the primary one. Um, and give you a tour. So, inside we've got um, a few rooms with supplies. We've got a kitchen that has a stove so you can cook food, a crafting bench for more complex recipes like cookies and cakes. Um, the supplies here are pretty limited, but um, for the most part we've abandoned uh, Stonewall Village. We still use it as a bit of a, a nexus to go uh, from one place to another, but not so much to live in. Uh, the armory has all of the weapons and armor that we've crafted, but uh, again, um, it's not exactly abundant because we don't spend a lot of time here. Um, there's a bit of a mini foundry here on the wall so that you know you can smelt uh, multiple stacks of iron or gold or anything you choose to smelt uh, all at once. Then. In here we've got uh, what I've called the landscaping supplies area. Primarily it's just leaves, uh, which at some point I planned on uh, placing uh, in the form of a maze, but never got around to it. Uh, I'm sure I will though at some point. And then here we've got uh, various dyes and multicolored wool that I've gathered for placement in various colorful arrangements. This is the crafting area where I keep most of the supplies. Here we've got a fair bit of iron, um, netherrack, obsidian. Uh, most of the construction supplies were here. The oh, dirt, uh, well, there was excess dirt, so I put it up in the uh, top uh, chest. But mostly this was wooden cobblestone. But this is now pretty much depleted. Uh, we've got an enchanting area. I haven't reformulated yet, it yet for the uh, the new snapshot that requires only 15 bookshelves. So it's still a little bulky, but um, I'll probably relocate all this as construction continues. And here again we have a wall of furnaces. Um, this is a hallway that connects um, the, uh, the eastern wing to the western wing. The western wing is primarily um, residential quarters. Uh, these are the rooms of the various friends I play with. Um, most of them are unfurnished because, again, uh, we don't, not all of them play all the time, and uh, when they do, they usually work on their own areas off to the uh, west, I believe. Uh, this one is mine. I've taken out the floor and put down red wool because red is my favorite color. Uh, again, it's sort of spartan, but, you know, it's got a bed and a chest full of, I don't think much of anything, just two minecarts. Um, I'll take one demonstration later. Um, and I'm going to pause here and continue in the next video. Alright?